Hello, thank you for coming. We're gonna start off with three very simple questions. First question, do you wanna leave a legacy for future generations? Number two, do you wanna save taxes year after year, generations after generations? Number three, do you wanna know the secret of the riches? If you said yes to all three questions, you're in the right place. So few people have ever heard about the Spendthrift Trust. Imagine saving four, five, six figures in taxes every single year. You can use this money to pay off your mortgage, to buy a new car, to take your family on a vacation, to give to a charity, or to save for retirement. Imagine all lawsuits become frivolous. Think of how much time, money, worry, anxiety go away. Imagine nobody knowing what you own, how much you own, where you own it, and what you do with it. Welcome to Save U.S. Taxes Legally. My name is Silent Gibbon, and I'm the owner of the TrustIsYou.com. My goal is to help as many U.S. business owners, U.S. entrepreneurs, U.S. 1099 income earners, and U.S. investors save legally with the Spendthrift Trust. I believe every business owner, entrepreneur, 1099 income earner, and investor needs to know this information. They can decide if they need a trust or not, but this is not taught in schools. I believe since I found the solution to my problem with short-term capital gains, I need to share it with as many people as possible. I also believe that all the playing field must be leveled for all businesses. Now, the Spinsliff Trust is gonna save you in four very important ways. Please write these down. Number one, it's gonna save you taxes year after year, generation after generation. Number two, it's gonna keep all your information private. There's a false rumor out there that your LLC, S Corp or C Corp does this. I can go to the Secretary of State or the Corporation Commission website at two o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the afternoon and research all the LLCs and S Corps in your state. There's a reason why 40% of all LLCs get sued every year. Number three, talking about lawsuits. All lawsuits become frivolous. All your assets are in the trust. It's a titanium vault and they can't get to it. You can't get blood from a stone. And number four, if you have the Benson Financial Spendthrift Trust, you're exempt from doing the 2024 Corporate Transparency Act from the Treasury Department. Please, if you do not have the trust, do the paperwork from the Treasury Department. If you do not do the paperwork, you could be fined $10,000 and or two years in jail. That's a rough statement. So, a little bit about uh, a little bit about uh, you, what you're thinking. You've never heard of this. I'm sure you haven't. The reason behind it: there are over a million attorneys in the United States. Only four percent are trust attorneys. The Benson uh, uh, Financial Trust was written by Paul Benson, a Harvard law professor, 76 years ago, and now his the law office is run by his grandson, his great grandson, and soon to be his great great grandson. He just passed the bar. In 76 years, none of the trusts have ever been uh, audited, and the law firm will give you a certification saying if you do get audited, they'll, uh, they'll defend you free of charge. One trust was examined in uh, 2018. A senior IRS agent went down to Houston to look over the trust. He spent five hours looking it over, and he approved it. You can't get more legal than this. Now, a little bit of history about Spendthrift Trust. It comes from England way back in 1534, when the famous King Henry VIII, the one who chopped off his wives to heads, started the Church of England. He went to go tax the lords and ladies of England, and they said, no, 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 King Henry VIII. They went back to the Magna Carta and said, you can't do this. It's contract law that came to the colonies while we were still part of England. The law firm I work on behalf of inherited trust that turned 350 years old in 2023. It's been around for that long. Our current tax code went into effect February of 1913, and it was only supposed to be around for a few years. Well, it's been 111 years, and the only thing it's done is it's gotten bigger, bigger, and bigger, and bigger. So, back in 1913, the super rich families, <coughs> excuse me, the super rich families, the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, the Carnegies, the Kennedys, made sure they could save taxes. Well, if they can save taxes, we should be able to save taxes. So 
The full name for the trust is Irrevocable Complex Discretionary Non-Grantor Spendthrift Trust. Let me go over each element because you have to have all five elements. Irrevocable, it goes from generation to generation. The Rockefellers Trust is seven generations old and has almost 400 people under the same EIN number, employee identification number, your tax ID number. Irrevocable, complex. This trust can hold money from day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year, decade to decade, century to centuries. 97% of the trusts sold out there are what my mom and dad had, what Susie Orman talks about on PBS television, the family trust. There's nothing wrong with family trust, but the only thing it's designed to do is avoid probate. Then it dissolves and goes away. This trust is going from generation to generation, saves taxes, keeps your information private, you pay no judgments if you get sued, and you don't have to do the 2024 Corporate Transparency Act. So irrevocable, complex, discretionary. Whoever is a trustee or trustees can leave the rules for the beneficiaries. There's no contesting in the court. There's no infighting. The law is the law. The trustees can decide how the assets are split up. Non-grantor. This makes the trust completely private. When you start the trust, you will have someone who is not a beneficiary uh, become the uh, grantor or the settler of the trust. You will need their social security number. This is not a speed bump. Either my, I can do this for you or somebody at the law firm can do it free of charge. It makes the trust 100% private. And the last element, spendthrift. This has been in front of the United States Supreme Court on two separate occasions. Both times the Supreme Court has favored it. You can't get more legal than this. This trust has been in front of the Supreme Court on two twice. Like I said, Paul Benson is the, was a Harvard Law professor who wrote these trusts. Everyone should know about this. Since we're spending some time together, I'm going to tell you a bit about myself. Uh, my watershed month was October 2018. Three major things happened to me. Number one, my, I was working as a Medicare broker in Phoenix, Arizona. My oldest nephew was getting married in Charlotte, North Carolina, October 28, 2018. If you know anything about Medicare, open enrollment starts October 5th and goes through December 7th. I request the Friday before the wedding and the Monday after the wedding to have all so I can visit friends and family in Charlotte. I was denied. Even though I had the time, I was denied. Number two, my brand new three-week-old car going to work 7 o'clock in the morning in Phoenix on Indian School Road. Second car through on the green light. Some bozo runs a red light, T-bones me on my passenger side. Silly Sally had the paperwork sitting on her kitchen table to do gap insurance. She had four weeks to do gap insurance. Did she do it? <laughs> she didn't get around to it. So I was upside down in my auto loan and I had to get a second car. All of a sudden, two cars, and I'm back to eating ramen noodles twice a week. I'm no longer in college. I'm 53 years old. And the third thing that happened, my mom and dad were living in Goodyear, Arizona. They drove from Goodyear, Arizona to Charlotte for the wedding. Thursday before the wedding, my dad calls me to say my mom's in the hospital. They're not sure what's wrong. He will uh, talk to me when I get there. I worked until 8 o'clock the night before the wedding, Friday night uh, before the wedding, drove myself to Sky Harbor Airport, took a red eye to Charlotte. My nephew picked me up at the airport, family tradition. We go to IHOP for breakfast, and then we went to the hospital to see my mom. We walked in, and the priest was giving her last rites. <sighs> kind of changed my world. Then I go off to a wedding at three o'clock in the afternoon and have a fantastic time. Crazy, crazy weekend. So um, my dad stayed with my mom in Charlotte for over nine months. Uh, while she got strong enough, she was on a ventilator, while she got strong enough to get back to uh, the Phoenix area. She had septic of the blood. She was on a ventilator for 13 months in a hospital 15 months. Thank God she got better. I was going out to the house once a week to do the mail because my dad had only been uh, planned to be gone for two weeks. First week of December, there was a letter that was 27 pages thick. It was sort of a monthly statement from Medicare. When you unfolded the 27 pages, big, bold black letters that said it was $72,000. She had Medicare and then she had supplement insurance, uh, TRICARE for Life, because my dad was a military officer. Everything was being paid for. I'm standing in my parents' kitchen with two car loans, an $8,000 deductible for my uh, health insurance. Thank God no ambulance was called when I had my car accident. I have a mortgage. I have student loans because I went to graduate school. I have credit card debt. And I hate my life. Yeah, Being a Medicare, getting yelled at, not a fun job. 
right then and there. I called my friend Glenn, who had invited me to a real estate meeting in August of 2018. And I said to Glenn, open enrollment's a crazy time. Let me put it on hold until after open enrollment. Glenn answers. And I said, Glenn, I need to change my life. He's like, Sally, next Saturday, we're having a Christmas potluck. Bring a $5 gift and some food and meet my fellow real estate investors. I don't know about y'all, but going to a party by yourself, a little bit scary. Best decision of my life. I became a real estate investor in 2029, still working full-time as a Medicare broker. I wholesaled seven properties and paid off $184,000 in debt. Ooh, completely debt-free. Yay, Sally. Then my CPA calls me. So this is April of 2000, and he says, Sally, you need to come into the office. I had $50,000 sitting in the bank account for capital gains. I knew about capital gains. I was a real estate investor. I knew about this. What I didn't count on is my tax rate went from 22% up to 24%. Let me show you something real quick so you all have this. There are seven, there are seven different uh, tax rates, tax brackets, from 10% to 37%. And then these are the different taxes for when you're when um for, for, for the beneficial trust. Sorry, it should have been a, a better slide than that. Sorry. So there's 10% to 37%. I went from 22% to uh 24%, and I all of a sudden owed the federal government um ninety ninety-seven thousand dollars in capital gains. I had fifty thousand dollars, I'm sorry, uh seventy nine thousand dollars in capital gains. I had fifty thousand dollars sitting in my bank account. My CPA was gonna put me on a monthly payment plan to pay off the capital gains. This is April of 2000, start of COVID. Who knew what's gonna happen in real estate? My solution was to get take a HELOC on my house, take defeats the purpose of being paid off. I paid off my uh, uh, money to cap, uh, capital gains to the federal government. And I was just like, I got the solution. I had read an article about the Rockefeller's Trust. It's called The Office. And I, I started researching this because if the Rockefellers can save taxes, why can't Sally Gibbons save taxes? In September of 2000, I started both my business trust and my beneficial trust. And I was the first female mastermind in my real estate group in Phoenix, Arizona. Very proud of that fact. So let's get into this. The business trust is for all U.S. business owners, entrepreneurs, and uh, 1099 income earners. You will save at least 90% on your federal taxes year after year, generation after generation. And in 43 states, you will no longer pay state income taxes. Uh, Texas, South Dakota, Nevada, uh, Nevada, uh, Florida, a few other states don't have state income taxes. Here's some picture, here's some uh, people who have helped save taxes. Mechanic in New Jersey. Save, uh, saving $36,469. What he's doing with his savings, he and his wife run the, uh, the, the uh, mechanic store together. They have three grown children who want nothing with this. He's going to the local high school, uh, at, trying to get kids who don't want to go to uh, trade school or anything else, to uh, train them how to be a mechanic because he's turning away business at this time. A salon owner and a, a salon school in Los Angeles, saving over $401,000 a year. A Shopify store owner. She's 23 years old. She sells earrings. Every month, her store is growing and growing and growing. She too went from 22% up to 24%. She's like, I need to start saving money. So she's not saving a ton of money, but she's saving money. A home inspection company in Ohio that, ha that has seven agents who go out and inspect homes. A real estate broker. I'm going to show you some more information about the real estate broker in uh, another slide. A dentist in California, an HVAC owner in uh, Georgia. Any business that you have, can uh, you could be saving money. Oops, I'm trying to make it. A real estate agent. This was one house in August of 2023. She saved $5,022. A business coach saving uh, almost uh, $59,000. An Etsy store. Uh, a gentleman with four, four, four sub shops, an Amazon store owner, commercial lighting salesman, and a paid speaker. Now that real estate broker, I did a presentation to his top five agents. This is how much they, this is in Illinois. This is how much they save. If they had the trust in 2023, they would have saved this amount of money. This is including uh, uh, federal income taxes and Illinois state income taxes. Brian, the top salesperson, 
would have saved $71,466. That would have been his money to pay off his mortgage, buy a new car, take his family on vacation, to give to charity, or to save retirement. Nathaniel, the newest agent uh, uh, on the group, he he was uh, he would have saved seventeen thousand six hundred and thirty one dollars. That's still a lot of money. That's more than a thousand dollars a month paycheck. My goal is to help as many U.S. business owners, U.S. ten ninety nine income earners, and U.S. entrepreneurs save as much money as possible with the business trust. The beneficial trust is for all investors. I don't care what kind of investing you're doing. You're going to save the following five taxes. You will no longer pay capital gains, short-term or long-term. You will no longer pay um, interest income taxes. If you're a passive investor in mutual funds, doing creative financing, seller financing. I personally have 12 notes where I'm the mortgage and people pay me their monthly mortgage. Or if you're doing the uh, birth strategy, you're subject to real estate. Third one, dividend income taxes. If you're in the stock market, if you're a day trader, an options trader, uh, dividend uh, investing, uh, commodities investing, you'll save uh, dividend income taxes. Rental income taxes. If you have short-term rentals like Airbnb, uh, vacation rentals, five doors, 10 doors, 20 doors, multifamily, uh, com uh, commercial property, or you're doing arbitrage. Yes, you can take depreciation. Yes, you can do cost averaging. But remember, all lawsuits become obsolete. So if the renter's dog gets out and bites someone, they can't come after you anymore. And finally, royalty income taxes. If you're an author, an actor, an actress, if you have um, uh, copyright information, if you uh, have a, you know anything like that, I want to help as many people as possible save as much money as they can. One of the things I do want to discuss is if you are selling a business, you will either pay 15% or 30% in capital gains. So again, let me show you the screen. This is an actual client of mine. Their son called me in December saying the family was going to be selling their house in March 30th of 2024. The father, Jim, had never been on uh, tick, uh, never been on um, uh, Zoom before. We got him on and I explained to him that the uh, Jim and his three brothers built the restaurant 42 years ago. They're going to sell it for $3 million with everything in it. At 15%, he'd have to pay $460,000. At 20%, he'd have to pay $600,000. He started the trust, and now he and his wife, Jim's 69, his wife's 68, they're gonna save six figures in taxes uh, uh, from my, uh, next year, and they don't have to pay that. That's a lot of money for people. I wanna help as many you, uh, uh, people save as much money as they can. So I just wanna close this out. I'm gonna share, show you the screen. This is how to get, reach me www.thetrustisyou.com. Uh, my website is thetrustisyou.com. My free class is my name, www.sallygimmon.com. My free class is out in the Great Discovery. I'm going to have it translated into Mandarin and Spanish. I want to say thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned something new. And if I can help you save four, five, or six figures in taxes every year, please schedule a 30-minute uh, tax breakthrough session with me. Take care. Have a beautiful day.